Lucas Barrow, the Australian punter from Newcastle. Tried at high school, played Australian football for the Sydney Swan. Describing Newcastle, I would probably say one of the most beautiful places on earth. Um, it's just amazing there. The people there are, are, are the nicest people you'll ever meet. It's right on the beach. It's just a, an amazing spot. The relationship between me and my parents is, it's definitely something special. Ever since I was a kid, we've just, had, we've just been really, really tight. Our whole family's been really tight. Nothing would ever get in the way of, of our family. Well, it was a good relationship in Australia that Lucas and I had. Um, the only thing I didn't like was when he used to run up and down the hallway with a football and kick it into the walls. I was always telling him to stop doing that, but now it's obviously something that has grown as part of him to kick a football. He's our baby, he's our youngest one, so it's been really hard to let go. He had applied to go to college in our local town, which is what happens back at home, is most students go to their local college and live at home still. And he had been playing Australian football prior to that and was at a quite high level doing that. And he knew someone that had been over here playing, um, doing punting, and he said, I think I want to do it. And I said, you're not doing that, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't even think he had any aspirations of becoming an American football player. It was hard to fit it all in and I said, you're not, that's too hard, you're not going to go. And he went, I'm going to go. He said, I probably won't even get into pro kick anyway. And I said, you will get into it, I have no doubt. What pro kick does, they pretty much transfer the skills that you have from Australian football into punting in American football. They invited me down to go join them and I went home and it, everything kind of happened quick because in, in space of three hours they invited me to move into another state. They've changed me a lot from day one when I stepped step on the little grass field that they have there to, to coming over on a big stage. At least six people have died in an outbreak of the new coronavirus, which has now reached the United States. The federal government has announced new quarantine rules for Australians who've been in South Africa and several other countries over concerns about the new Omicron coronavirus variant. Effective immediately, non-Australian citizens who've been to those nations cannot enter Australia. I got here in Muncie in August of 2020. Um, I, got, I got to go home in May of 2021 to see my sister get married, um, which was awesome. But apart from that um, and COVID going on, I haven't been able to get back. Talked to him constantly, but um, he calls every day, I think, or he at least he messages every day. He might have been doing, what are you up to? What are you doing? I'm very, very, very grateful to be able to talk to them, even if it is on the phone and on FaceTime and whatever we can do, um, just to stay in contact with them. I don't really know how we can manage on a daily basis, but... Uh, we know he's in safe hands over here. It's just not knowing when we're going to see him next. family's travelling from Australia and they'll see me play American football for the first time ever. Hi, here we are at the Sydney Airport Hotel, just having some breakfast before we head off to the airport for our almost 30 hour trip to finally get to Muncie. Um, can't wait to get the, not looking so forward to the 30 hours trip, but we know at the end we get to cuddle our boys, so.
now we're getting excited. And we've arrived in the USA. So <laughs> why we, after almost 15 hours on that flight, part one of the trip is done. Um, now we hang around wait for another flight. I think we've still got about another 12 hours of travel. Um, actually probably a little bit more than that. So, but we're getting really close now and getting, you know, exhausted, but excited. And where could they possibly be right now? <laughs> you guys got, got lost. <laughs> I thought he's got lost. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, so good to want to be here. Yeah, I know. It's, a, it's just an amazing spectacle to watch him. He, he, it seems to us like he's a superstar. It's really special to me, because like, they've seen all the, all the work that I've put in um, over the years, but they've only been able to see me on television. It's nothing like being here. He, he's told us how exciting it is, that just the running out and, and everything that goes on, but um, to see it live is completely different. And when you see his coaches and talk to them and you realise how much effort he has done because they've told us what kind of work he's done over here, um, then you, that's when you realise, gee, he's working pretty hard and that's good, a good thing to see. He will accomplish any goal that he wants to accomplish.